what is the ideal roadmap for front end development for beginners yeah yeah well a little bit like i said before i don't think uh, to be honest i believe it, you know it what you actually uh what's what's best for you and uh, at the same time you need to keep an eye on the market itself because you may want to learn something which is like uh you know which is at the same time fun uh, to work with but there's no jobs for it so you need to try to you know be flexible and to learn things that you enjoy and that are also like high in demand so for me at the moment obviously the things that are like web standards so like html css those are the things that you absolutely necessary need need to to, to learn then you need to learn uh, some of the CSS preprocessors like SAS right now, but I see actually that uh, CSS by itself is adding much more feature, and I see uh, these preprocessors maybe even uh, you know fading away in the years to come. But we will see. After that, uh, obviously you need to learn JavaScript if you're gonna you know start building dynamic websites, and after you uh, have foundation with JavaScript then you need to start uh, thinking about frameworks and the libraries that can help you to build faster and to build more uh, modern websites like single page applications so if you're gonna check the market what is the easiest to learn what is most in demand that's react absolutely react and then at the end uh, when you target library like that you need to start uh, finding some ui libraries because nowadays it's all about like fast development right so tailwind probably would be a good library for that also like um, material react material there there's a ton of these libraries so you know you can you can choose whatever suits best for you and at the end i always suggest to to learn a testing framework like uh, for example jest and to make yourself as a full full uh full uh front-end developer and to know all the aspects of the development cycle yeah yeah you're absolutely right like uh because like it starts with HTML, CSS, then JavaScript, and then obviously you have to learn, I also believe, like few fr frameworks. Uh, right now, like React is in the market, but as you said, yeah. like uh, it can be a case like after two years, like there is some other technology like Swelt is on top. Like previously I used to remember like Angular Voice used to be like on top and React was not like that much rated. But then with uh, passage of years like angular is not that much popular and react like uh goes to the top so you have to keep an eye on the market yeah and that's just only that but you need to ask yourself where you, where do you want to work so if you were look, looking to work maybe for more like uh companies that like are stable that they have larger bigger teams maybe even like uh going towards the angular is better way but i see startups are mainly going for for react uh because like it's uh, it's easier to learn it's much lightweight and it just you just you know work faster with it but it's not organized in most in uh, most of the time because people will learn it fast obviously sometimes but I, I say there's a lot of freedom with react but with freedom comes responsibility with angular you have opinionated framework you have all the things that you you know uh you yeah th th there's all the things that you that you should do with that framework uh, you know how it's supposed to be done so there's not like a ton of libraries so basically what i'm saying is just just uh, think about where do you want to work and then also suit your technology towards that not only by the trends in the market yeah great uh, and my next question is html and css are considered as the building blocks of front-end development could you elaborate that like why it is so important yeah well uh i think they're just necessity so it doesn't matter if you like it or not they're just building blocks like you said of the website so there's no possible way to build a website without you know having them in your website so you could potentially build a website with just html but it would be totally ugly right without css so that's something that you absolutely no, there's no you know there's no discussion there's no doubt you need to learn those things and the good thing about them is that they are not that hard obviously there are people who are very focused on to be very professional about very uh, you know high aesthetics and they i seen crazy stuff on, on code pen really with css so you can just make your career just with css trust me if you just want to go that path because nowadays you can even like create uh conditionals inside of uh, css so it's like programming language nowadays and uh, there's so many features that are releasing every single day so just learning css can be scary but you know the things that you need as a front-end developer and now it's a question whether you want to be a front-end developer who is working on uh, like presentational websites which are far more like graphical uh, more appealing right 
uh, compared to the web applications, they are more into functionality in JavaScript side. So it depends on what are you leaning for uh, for more. So and then you would lean more on JavaScript or CSS side. Yeah. Got it. 